Okay, I don't know if this is recording. I guess it is. Okay, what I want to show here. Now, I've rotated this foot a little bit so it goes into the capsule correctly. But how this capsule actually fits this foot very well. Now, uh, this horse was trimmed maybe three times over his life. He was put down because he went blind. He was only eight years old. Um, he lived in an 80 acre pasture with three or four other horses. And uh, his feet were actually really good. He had uniform sole thickness and he was totally sound. Owner used to ride him around on the gravel roads. So, you know, uh, what I want to show is how the foot does fit in this capsule. Now, um, the back of the foot right here, when it's set in the capsule, because inside the capsule here you have a humongous, what's called a frog stay that grows between the bulbs. And then you have the heel buttress right here that supports the whole back of this foot here. So when you push the foot in the capsule, okay, it's going to lift this part up and support it back here. And so if that was happening here now, um, then you would just see uniform sole thickness under under there. See? Now I want to. We're going to draw a, a a hoof capsule on here. So let's think. When if we had a hiking boot, um, we would want at least inch thick Vibram soles on that. That's usually about um, what they make a lot of them. Um, in the heel, you usually have thicker sole. And so let's just take a brush here. Um, let's see. Maybe this one. This ought to work. Okay, and uh, we'll, we'll make the, we're not going to make it black, we'll make it gray. We're going to just draw a hoof capsule on here. Okay, so hoof capsule, the dorsal wall would grow down like so. And it grows down, we want at least an inch of, of uh, sole here. Now back here, here's your uh, heel buttress corium. You've got a triangular chunk of uh, hoof wall that grows from it. That would be like that. Okay, and then we're going to want at least an inch of sole. You look on the really good pictures of the wild horses, they have at least an inch of sole in here so you see this capsule does fit fit this foot um probably if he would have been trimmed correctly um he could even had a little better foot than he he does now although his foot is better than 99 percent of the domestic horses that that i've seen out there but what we are used to seeing is uh a foot that is more like uh shaped like this with the feet that have had the heels totally trimmed out of them um and what that does is you see this heel right here just me let's undo this okay you see just a second here let me see what i want to draw with Okay, here is the internal heel, just a second. Here is the internal heel. Ah, just a second here, let me get a color that shows up. Okay, there we go. Here is the true heel of the horse's foot back here. And that didn't show up very good either, just a second. Um, Let's use pencil. Let's use that. Let's see if this is better. A little bit. That is the true heel of the horse. It's literally a heel. Let's draw it out again. Here we can we can even make everything a little bit bigger. Besides. 130. Okay. Now let's 
Well, it's not working because I can't get it into my thing here. Just a second here. Let's do this. So, because I want you to be able to see what I'm talking about here. We're going to take this foot. We're going to copy it. We're going to put it over here. Okay, and then we're going to enlarge it. Like 130 times there. Okay, now you can really see it. Now, I'm going to take, um, let's see, what can I use? That? No. Okay, right here, do you see the heel? I'm going to outline it. The heel goes like that and like that. Now, if this horse hadn't been left to be on his own, um, that heel would be even more upright, like so. Okay, but if you trim the heels out or the heels collapse and go forward, okay, this right here, everything in here is cartilage. Your, your heel is cartilage. So if the heels are incorrectly trim and over lowered, you see this cartilage and this form here? Just a minute here. It will crush it. It will make it just like this. Because it's cartilage. So yeah, you can have a hoof capsule that's shaped like this. You know, like a triangle. But it crushes the heels. And that's what uh, all these barefoot trims are doing. That's what a lot of farrier trims do as well. Because um, people have not learned to read the inner foot with the capsule on it. Nor do they know the shape of the internal foot most of the time. In an x-ray, all you see is a coffin bone and a big blur back here. Okay, well, let me undo this here. Okay, so anyway, um, we need to start realizing that these horses have a foot. This is your whole horse's foot right here. Okay, it's not just what you see from the hairline down. See? Um, just a minute here. It's not just this part. Here, we'll go put this on. Not just that part. Now, the way I cut it out there, I could see why somebody say, well, those heels look underrun and that toe looks long, but that's just the way that foot is sitting. You know, it might be a little collapsed forward because that was the lifestyle of the horse. He never got trimmed. You know, but he had uh, really good feet. So anyway, I just think that's... Uh, Interesting. See, what people got to realize is you're de dealing with two different things here. Now, on the inside of this capsule are lamina that fit like little paper paper leaves together with the lamina on the outer foot. You see this lamina? You see those lines right there? Okay, on the inside of the foot that you can't see here, there's a little piece of lamina that is the same length and the same angle as what's on this foot and so uh, uh, they're in a certain they're like this and you see the horn tubules go like this okay well the internal lamina and there's lots of them I can only draw a few here are like so um, from heel to toe Okay, and they're supposed to line up with the lamina here that is on the foot. Well, when you do not trim these, trim and grow these heels correctly to support the back of this foot, when you change the angle of this hoof capsule, it changes the angle of the lamina that are attached into the lamina of the foot here. Let's see, if we were to, uh, to cut the heels out of this hoof here, like from here, and even if we really brought back the toe, okay, that's going to uh, make the external lamina that are here, let's say they're green, okay, 
here, here the red represents the internal lamina of the foot. The green represents um, the lamina that is in the hoof capsule that's connected to that. Okay, if you over trim the heels, what it does is this foot is always going to stand a certain way no matter what. Okay, and these lamina are always going to be at a specific angle that they need to be at. And so you have weight-bearing equilibrium between the internal lamina here, the, represented by the green, even though I made them red over here at first, and uh, this uh, red line that represents the lamina on the foot. And, and they're laminated together, okay? It's what holds the hoof capsule onto the foot, and the hoof, hoof wall grows, and it, it slides down like that. Okay, so... So when you come along and you over lower these heels, okay, so you got to have this heel buttress back here and you got to have uniform sole thickness because so, you want at least, well, it'd be nice to have an inch of sole under this foot here, okay? So when you come and you over lower the heels, it changes the weight bearing equilibrium and unity between the two laminas here, the one inside of this hoof capsule and the one on the outside of this foot, it changes that so that then this foot is still trying to stand upright like this. And the lamina on the foot are still at a certain angle, but you've changed the angle of the hoof capsule and all the lamina that are attached to this foot. And so when you lower that, what happens? Well, it changes this lamina that was connected here is now pulling this way here and pulling that way there. Okay, so it starts to separate. Um, a along with cutting off this part of the hoof capsule, and setting it down like that, every time you come in, you cut more and more and more off. Um, this part starts to be pulled down like this. The frog is stripped out of the foot. And everything back here is soft cartilage. And so you see this, how, how this is not even attached actually to the leg. There's a big gap here. This opens up so that the pastern can descend between it. This collateral cartilage. Well, the coronary band, everything, the heels start to be crushed. All this starts to be pulled under like this. And uh, you have this situation go, go on where the foot gets crammed into a reduced size capsule due to how the heels were trimmed. So uh, what we, I and others have been doing have been trying to restore the back of the foot and realign these lamina up by um, bringing back the support to the back of the foot and pushing all this back up into place. Okay, that's all I got for now.